we're here on 090909 to talk a little bit about angle relationships and how we can use that information to help us write equations to find missing variables and angle measures. And you can see behind me, we have our problem. Over here, we've got our picture. You can see it's pretty extensive. There could be a lot of information if we, need, if we decide we want to use it. First, we know that angle ABC is 82 degrees. This whole space here, from there all the way up to that ray, is 82 degrees. That's our first fact. But then, we totally mix it up by saying that ray BD is an angle bisector. Remember that an angle bisector is going to cut an angle into two congruent pieces. What that means is that each of these smaller angles are going to have the exact same measure. So if the whole thing is 82, we really know that each one of these has an angle measure of 41 degrees. And we're going to use that information to help us find x if CBD is 9x plus 14. Angle CBD is this one right here. And we know that it equals 41 degrees. We also know that it equals 9x plus 14. So to write an equation to help us find x, the goal of our problem, we're going to set those two things equal to each other. 9x plus 14 equals 41. We subtract 14. So when we do that, 41 minus 14, you can use a calculator. 27. We divide by 9, and we say that x is equal to 3. So here, we've used lots of angle relationships. We've talked about how they're made. We've talked about angle bisectors. And we've talked about what happens if two things are equal to the same piece of information. But we could talk about complementary angles, two angles that add to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, two angles that add to 180. We could talk about a linear pair which is two adjacent angles that add up to 180. And we can talk about vertical angles. Angles created by the intersection of lines or segments where their angle measures are congruent to each other. So there's a lot of information we can use depending on what a problem decides to give us. Just make sure you know what these definitions mean and you can apply them to write your own equations and solve these problems. Thanks. And see you next time.